Yeah, you told me that uh, Gloomer is more of a solo project. So what kind of ideas are behind this project? Um, so I am, I've been doing music for a, a long time in different bands and uh, mostly like uh, when I was a kid, it was more like punk and uh, uh, when I got older, I got a lot more into like metal music and uh, hardcore music. So that's been like my main focus for many years. Uh, but I've also always I like tried to write more like melodic music and more um, like pop focused maybe. Um, uh, but never like really felt comfortable with uh, with the results um so glamour is basically like uh, a bunch of like ideas that have been growing in going inside of me for for a bunch of years that uh, like i finally felt that i found my form to do this sort of music in a way that felt connected to uh, the, in some way to the mu music scene that I love and is very much a part of, but uh, uh, but also its own thing and me trying trying something different. The EP Inertia just came out. So how did you work on this EP? Uh, I like the first songs came together uh, around. Um, the start of 2020 i think i released a demo um and then i started working on some more songs and um a guitarist in uh, one of my bands called uh, disavow um he him and me started just like uh, bouncing demos back and forth or like rather i would send him a demo uh and he would be like, okay, this is, this is cool. This is less cool. Um, so he became sort of like, um, someone to bounce ideas with and, uh, to like help me push some of the, uh, song ideas in the like right direction. So, um, yeah, e Eli, Eli is his, is his name and he has like a label. He, he re released a, the cassette now on his uh, new label, No Heroes uh, uh, Recordings, I think, No Heroes Recordings. Um, and um, he sort of came, became like an um, uh, idea man slash producer slash friend slash engineer in this project. Um, so he... Um, he kind of helped me, uh, helped me like um, uh, form form the ideas for the EP, and then we just decided to record it the summer of twenty twenty one, and uh, that recording session um, continued that same winter, and then it's just been like back and forth with mixes and um, uh, some other like promo ideas that we had uh just figuring out how how i wanted to like present this to other people um so that's basically how the the ep came about what would you say uh were you kind of sources for inspiration you know as you were contemplating the one's function in everyday life um um musically i've been very like influenced by um um like a um, hardcore musician who doesn't do hardcore music anymore uh like uh, you know um and also a lot of grunge music um like uh, not uh, not maybe pearl jam but more like pixies and nirvana that sort of grunge music and um like like depressive in the music also then like the mu the musical like um the musical ideas behind it um 
but uh, lyrically it's been more um, uh, for a while it's been like trying trying to get to a bit of the source to why uh, I I function the way I do or why I have like issues with like seemingly normal things um and uh trying to like get uh, trying to get like the words right uh for that and uh i feel um uh as i as i've been writing i can kind of come to a, a lot of like um uh so, sorry if uh, i have tr uh, i'm trying to find the right word for it but um maybe i don't know if epiphany is the right word or whatever but i kind of feel like that i've come to like know myself a bit more um or understand myself a bit more when i've been like so um uh like um going over every word again and again and trying to, to like what what is it that i'm really looking for for to say here um so uh, like the inspirations has been sort of just like feeling feeling like frustrated and bored a lot uh and also feeling like that you don't understand why, uh, why you really can't just um, embrace some of the more like um, um, some of the more like everyday and simple uh, stuff that some people seem to just like take for granted, like uh, work if it's work life or like. Um, uh friendships or uh, like love relationships that it's like uh feeling like you always make stuff a bit more complicated than they need to be uh and also kind of realize that that's sort of more normal than than you think that a lot of people just make stuff a lot more complicated than they need to be um and um that um, just the the very normal and like small things in everyday life can be very complicated from time to time and you can and can be very frustrating to trying to figure out your place in it all so that's sort of been the driving um inspiration behind the lyrics i think well maybe you you would like to give like an example of these six songs like tell a bit of a backstory for one that was kind of a revelation to you as you said um i think one of the most like um direct ones would be uh, when uh, when the pandemic started i just finished like uh, my cultural project management studies here in gothenburg and um it just was so like obvious that it's no point in like going out and um applying for jobs in in culture programs or whatever right now because that's not uh, a priority at all um and uh so i kind of went back to i don't know basics or like like the the normal jobs that i've done before or normal jobs um and got uh, a full-time job at a school pretty like uh pretty fast uh and i remember calling like my parents and saying like oh yeah it's, this this worked out fine like i got a pretty good paycheck and um and uh i have a secure secure income for the moment um and um they were like, oh, great, and like, so like excited or whatever about that. Uh, and I realized that I didn't feel like excited or at ease with it at all. I just felt uh, stressed about about it. 
um and then the idea for a daily routine came like started to come about in the car as i was driving because i kind of started thinking about like why why it's so um fucking hard to accept like really like good things or like normal or secure things happening um what are what are like the um, what what is the inner struggle that makes me like kind of want to push away uh from that when it maybe would like be be good for my mental state or being or whatever um so that that's like that's when that song came started to come about a bit which song was this the daily routine the first one yeah i feel you i resigned two jobs last year so <laughs> it's 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 fucking hard to like find find like some sort of like day-to-day uh base that feels in line with like what with what you want where where, where you want to be it's super hard uh so yeah that's um uh that song is a lot about like just see seeing that like for what it really is like oh shit i'm this is like maybe also not just this is not just like oh i want to do i want to do something more uh, spontaneous and drastic with my life it's also kind of self-sabotaging um to be like okay i got this like great opportunity and it's n- nothing nothing else really is going on with my life right now because uh, fucking pandemic or whatever and uh then just being instead of like just embracing that fact just like being uh scared of the the calm in it or uh like how, how normal it feels so uh yeah, that song is a lot, of, a lot about that. What about live gigs? Is Glamour gonna do some gigging? I hope so. Um, I um, I started uh, started to like um, uh, talk with some friends about setting up some sort of live band, and you can see some of them in the music video that I made. Like those are some of my closest friends who I play music with and some of them are playing uh, in Disavow and um, um, the person playing the drums playing an awesome metal band called Sonic Assault um, and we also have like a bunch of musical projects going on on the side uh, so like I have I have my close-knit um, group of friends who I know that I can rely on for some hometown shows maybe um but i'm i i started to feel like i was kind of like on the fence about doing this live like i i i would like to do like one show at least to feel if i like to perform these songs live because it's a different thing trying to like sing on key uh instead of just like screaming into a microphone um uh but since since i um, released the songs and uh, i got the response that i got i i feel like i sort of got more uh uh more will to make it happen i guess um so i can definitely see maybe putting together a band and going doing some some shows in germany maybe some shows in sweden um see see what where people would li- would like me to play maybe with with this act i know that i have some friends who are very supportive in me playing live uh with this so um i i definitely think there will be some live shows um but um i don't know I'm, i i can't really i can't really picture how that would look at the moment really you have mentioned uh, your hometown Göteborg now a couple of times. So how has the 
underground culture uh, bounced back after the pandemic in your view in there um it's uh, really like better than it ever was uh for longest time um i have some friends who uh, do some hardcore collective called uh, moral panic records and they started putting up shows um like <laughs> before the pandemic as well but they really got on it the second they they were allowed to do shows again um and since they weren't like any like touring bands they they like mainly just booked local hardcore pan- bands over and over and they weren't that many um but they kind of just got like a routine started and they started to let um uh kids in for free at the shows so like a few months back maybe a year back there were like 50 to 60 people at a show uh and now there's like 200 people at a local show with just like local bands um and um the music the hardcore music scene haven't haven't like been like that for ever in in Gothenburg so it's a really exciting time to um uh to do music in, in that sort of scene uh unfortunately like glamour isn't really uh, i mean i have a strong connection to hardcore music but it's not really like hardcore music so um uh i i i don't really know i don't really i'm not that familiar with a lot of the other stuff that goes on in Gothenburg. So I'm just trying to like find out where I should play with this with this band as well. Um because it's that's also sort of um weird to not really like know for certain like yeah I should I should do this sort of band over here because it's like not really indie music and it's not really hardcore music and it's not really like it's some sort of mix match between um different things that i love and i like there there are a lot of bands that do like this sort of similar stuff uh that i'm definitely like influenced by and inspired by uh but it's just that i don't really know where that sort of stuff belongs in Gothenburg at the moment so um uh, i have a hard time finding um uh, i don't really know at the moment where where i should play this sort of band being from turku finland myself i never had a problem you know seeing the same local band every month or even every week so that's very nice to hear about the hardcore scene back there yeah yeah like that's um it's really it's really nice to see that people care less about like the cool touring acts and more about being more excited about like your local music scene um and uh i mean that's just that makes you so so much more amped up to do stuff uh to play shows and to start new bands and record other bands and um yeah it's like uh, everything everything doesn't seem uh, everything doesn't have to have like some big plan or uh big ambitions uh, behind it anymore maybe because like for the longest time ever, like uh, it didn't seem like worth playing uh unless you were out touring for my bands for for a long time so just just like being excited about uh, your hometown shows is um, ve- is very is very nice um uh, it's a nice change of pace Something gets in the way. 